once you have your DeckLink Duo installed, whether it's into the computer itself or into an external Thunderbolt chassis that's then connected to your computer, you should see it in desktop video setup. If you don't, you've got something wrong and uh, ProPresenter won't be able to find it. It might be something with the computer, like the SMC or uh, non-volatile RAM on a Mac, or it could be the Thunderbolt cable. could be a couple of different things. But until you get that, then the rest of this won't work. So once you've got that set up, the first thing you're going to want to do is select the primary output, then click here and go to connectors. Once you get to connector, make sure connector mapping is set so that the two uh, connectors are married together. So you want SDI 1 and SDI 2, not just SDI 1. So that's an important part. Uh, then click Save. Once you've done that, go into Pro 7, and we're going to go into Screens. Sorry, Screens, then Configure Screens. Okay, now I'm going to click the plus sign, and look, I have this section, Blackmagic, DeckLink Duo 1, Duo 2, Duo 3, Duo 4. I'm going to select one because that's the one that I'm choosing and I'm going to select uh, the resolution and frame rate of my video switcher. In this case I'm set to 1080p um, 60 so let's go with that. Now that's added that um, and I'm almost done. So now I'm going to go to alpha key and select enable and make sure it's set to external key and the blend is set to 100%. I could, while I was here, uh, change the name so that this is very clearly the appropriate output, but then having done that, I should be able to go into my ATEM Television Studio HD software. Yours might be different if you're using a different video switcher. I'm going to drag that over on to this so that you can see it. And if we go into uh, downstream keys, what I need to do is I need to select the input that each of these is connected to. Now I happen to know that it's 7 and 8. I'll relabel these so that it makes sense more later. But as you're looking at the multi-view, the fill should look just normal. Just like a normal output. But the key should look similar to a normal output, but a little weird. It should be grayscale. Anything that needs to be transparent should be black. Anything that needs to be opaque should be white, and anything that needs to be translucent should be gray. So do that. You don't need the mask on, but you do need pre-multiplied key on. So make sure you have that set up. And then once you do that, I did this on downstream key number one. I can just uh, auto to transition that on or off. Uh, I can also click on air to cut it on and cut it off, but then, and I could have just as easily done that with downstream key 2, by the way, but I just chose downstream key 1 for no real reason. So I've got that set there, and as soon as I put it on, it doesn't matter, I can switch to my heart's content over here. I'm not going to do that because I'm using this to record on, but um, that's exactly how you would do that and how you would um, have the ability to use Alpha with ProPresenter 7.